So today we just finished the go bike after probably three months now of on and off getting stuff custom made done on it and it's finally done. So I'm walking through it. Um, this is the go bike frame. Just had it freshly powder coated, gloss black. Turned out very nice. If you look back here on the rear end, you can see I sent it back to Rich at Scooter Pros. Um, big thanks to him. He extended the rear end two inches right there. Basically what that does is on the go bikes that typically have the problem as soon as the power band kicks in, the front end just wants to pop up. It's because the back end's too short. So they extended it out, which gives you a lot better control and handling of this. Um, also another cool thing I had him do, they had him cap the rear end out. So it gives it a nice clean look to it. As well as had him make a custom bracket for the Mad Dog caliper on it. It's like run Mad Dog brakes instead of the pre-Mad Dogs, which just are complete old school. Um, so there's the other side where it was extended. Uh, Mad Dog caliper on it. Uh, I spent a countless amount of hours modifying it so I could spacers and everything like that so I could run the six bolt rotor on the rear to give it that newer modern style look to it and um, PSWS rear sprocket on there bullet wheels all mirror polished uh, let's take you up here to the foot pegs now had a dad's friend of mine does machine has a machine shop had him custom make me a couple bullet foot pegs for this mirror policy ends of it myself knurled the where your foot goes on it for the foot peg and then underneath got the set screws in there one on each side um, let's see what else got a scooter pros pro pole the guy that actually designed and built the go bike rich he actually designed and built the pro pole also so I figured it'd just be appropriate to have the pro pole on the go bike all mirror polish as well. Scooter Pros. Um, the original Go Bike handlebars. Mirror policies myself. Turned out very nice. Running Rhythmal um, grips on it. Factory Go Ped brake levers, throttle. Um, next, got a nice set of. Goped King Racing had a mirror polish front suspension forks. Also running the Mad Dog set up on the front of it with a six bolt Avid 140mm brake rotor, both 140 front and rear. Um, scope hot hub adapters front and rear also. Um, what else? HD bearing cups. Uh, also running the newer style go-ped seat. It's got the built-in springs right here for a little extra cushy ride. Um, oh yeah. And I had the kickstand mirror polished as well. I sent that out to have that done. That turned out very nice. Um, all the factory go-ped stickers on it as well. Got those from Rich. I'm going to have him do the work. He sent me some stickers back so I can keep it all original and factory looking uh, 1.5 liter gas tank ADA tank cover um, engine tricks billet gas cap vented it myself uh, let's see as so, uh, far as motor goes it's uh, pretty much a brand new GSR G43L motor Trevor Simpson head kit all race ported um, custom Jet Pro high rev 40 pipe. This one is 100% custom, all done by Jet Pro. Probably the only one he's ever going to build because he hated building this pipe for me. He said it took him a ridiculous amount of time to build it. Very similar to the other 40 pipes, the high rev 40 pipe that goes on the normal peds itself, but this one had to be custom built because of how the go bike sits. The motor actually sits right over the rear wheel basically on the go bike versus the GSR-40s, they sit off to the side a little bit. So he had to slightly modify this pipe which took him forever. 
So, but big thanks to you, Dino, for that. Appreciate it. Um, all chrome plated as well. Got the Trevor Simpson fan cover on here, mirror polished. Have the 78 millimeter housing, mirror polished as well. Running um, 772, I believe it is, if I remember right. Um, just for cruising around the neighborhood, nothing too fast or crazy. Um, MSD plug wire, um, mirror polish, Trevor Simpson head kit. Um, running the actual TGN Iron Cross billet air filter. This is not the knockoff, this one is the real TGN one. Uh, had it all mirror polished. It turned out very nice. Also, same thing as like on my GSR40, the Corvette ped had the running the 460 carburetor on this, the modified billet intake manifold off the 460, and the custom throttle linkage, just like on the GSR40 Corvette ped. Um, let's see what else? I think that's pretty much it. So. Oh yeah, one other thing is Rich the Scooter Pros also sent me a stiffer rear spring because of the added distance on the rear end. Gives a little more stiffness to it. Gave it a couple different springs, sicknesses to try. So this one's rated at 1,250 pounds. So, there you guys go. Thanks for watching.